and welcome to my new doll repaint video! And today I'm going to repaint this big 17 inch Elizabeth Monster High doll. You can see how much she is bigger than the regular size doll. And I'm really a huge fan of big Monster High dolls, first of all because they have extra joints on their legs, arms and under the chest. So these dolls can pose and articulate much better than the regular ones. And because of this, they look much more realistic and natural. And in the beginning, I need to prepare the doll for customizing like always, so I'm taking her clothes off, cutting her hair as short as possible, and then I need to take her head off. her head up for 5 minutes with a hair dryer to make the plastic soft and then I can take it off. Then I take the tweezers and I try to pull the rest of her hair out. And I quickly see the problem, it just doesn't go out. When I worked on my first 17 inch monster high doll, I had no problem with removing her hair at all. Many people asked me in the comments how I managed to do it because they had serious troubles with it. But for me it was so easy, even easier than with normal dolls. And now I see what you meant, guys. I was busy with this hat for almost 30 minutes, and this is all I could do. It seems the hair is just mounted into the hat from the inside. So I have two different ways to go. I can cut her head completely open on top and try to remove it all from the inside or just to leave it like it is and to cover it all with a wig. I will choose the wig option because it is a little bit exaggerating to me to cut the head open if you are not going to insert plastic eyes. So let's better take acetone and remove her old face. And after this I spray her face with 3 layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and I let it dry. Now I want to neutralize her light purple skin color and for this I'm going to mix together green and yellow pastels and apply them to the doll's face. It looks already quite good and not purple at all, but you still can see a bit of green and yellow in the corners of her lips and eyes, so I'm going to apply a layer of very light nude pastels on top to cover it up. Then I take my Faber Castell Albrecht Durer watercolor pencils and I sketch her eyes. And here it's very important to draw everything very symmetric.
also make dark her nostrils and the line between her lips. For the eyebrows, I use like always soft pastels and a piece of an eraser. Now let's contour her face. The biggest attention I pay like always to her eyes and eye creases. This part of the face is always the darkest, here we see the darkest shadows, and then I also contour her cheeks and the corner of her lips, the sides of her face and the hairline. make all the shadows a little bit darker.
and in the end of the contouring, I am pink blush to her cheeks. Now I think I'm quite happy with her skin color, so I can take my pencils and start drawing her eyes. For the eyes I will use three kinds of blue pencils, light, medium and a darker one. So first with the lightest pencil I color the irises completely. Then with the darkest blue, I draw the outline of the irises and color the upper half of them. And then with the medium blue, I blend the two colors together. to make her eyebrows very soft, so I begin drawing them with a pink pencil. I also want to make very light and soft, so first I cover them with a layer of pink pastels. Then I add medium grey pencil to her eyebrows. And now it's time to add grey shadows to the white of her eyes. With a couple of different brown pencils, I start working on her eyelids and the eye creases.
With a light gray pencil, I draw the highlights on her eyelids. She will have silver gray hair, so I want to make her makeup also a little bit like glowing silver. And for this I'm first drawing the highlights again, and this time using a silver pencil. And then on top I'm applying a layer of silver soft pastels to her eyelids. touch of purple pastels to her eyes. To her eye lines, I also add a touch of black soft pastels to imitate the shadows from the upper lashes. Using black and purple pencils and pastels, I'm finishing her eye makeup. What to do, guys, if I really love smoky eyes?
With the white pencil, I add highlights to her irises and to the white of her eyes. With the light nude and light warm grey pencils, I add highlights around the eyes. Then with a very sharp black pencil, I draw the bottom eyelashes. Still adding the highlights between the lashes. I also add a little bit of silver pastels to her face as a highlight. And now let's work on her body! First I sand it with nail buffers to remove the gloss from the surface, then I clean it with an acetone free nail polish remover, I spray it with 3 layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant, and then I finally apply the same colors pastels like I did for her face. I told you already that I'm going to give her silver grey hair, so here it is, and let's make a wig for her using my regular hot glue technique. Now I'm putting the head and the body back together using my hair dryer again, and then I just need to attach the false lashes and add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips.
And of course, I still need to sign my work. And now let's create an outfit for her. This piece of fabric I keep already probably for 3 years. Because it's so cute, but the print is way too big for normal Monster High dolls. And now I can finally use it on this 17 inch doll. And now let's take a very sharp, precise cutting knife and turn these boots into a pair of shoes. I feel honestly so stressed when I'm doing it, because once I cut a piece of my finger off with such a knife, so I'm always extra careful and extra alert when I'm doing it. I also made long dark red socks for her and now let's put it all together! By the way, a little life hack how to put the doll shoes on and to not damage her socks or painted feet. You just need to warm the shoes up for a couple of seconds with a hair dryer and they will become soft and very easy to put on. So, and here is the end result of my work this week. And I'm again completely in love with the 17 inch Monster High doll. I don't know, is it just because of the better articulation and the flexibility of the body? Or she's also more proportional than the regular Monster High? It kinda seems so, because my more realistic style of face drawing seems to work even better on these bigger dolls. And what do you think? What kinds of doll repaints you like most? The regular Monster High dolls, or the big ones, or the big Barbie doll hats. I will really wait to hear your opinion in the comments under this video. And I hope you enjoyed this makeover, and if you did, please support it with your likes. And of course, subscribe my channel if you are not with us yet, to get more new doll repaints every week Friday. Of course, everyone is welcome on my Instagram page, and I will see you again very soon. Have a nice sunny weekend and bye!